I know. <laughs> Welcome to Cadillac Chats with Studio 4 Pilates. I'm Natasha Loeffler Little, and today I'm joined by Katherine Anderson. How are you doing, Katherine? I'm doing great. Thanks Good. for having me. Good. Well, welcome. I wanted to talk about something that's pretty unique to what we do. Uh, one of the offerings that we have in the studio that we weave into our classes and our privates, um, it's uh, floor work. Oh. This is very unique to Ron Fletcher. Um, who studied directly under Joseph Pilates. Um, and I wanted, because you had the unique opportunity to have actually studied under Ron, mm-hmm. um, and he's since passed. Uh, and he has, you know, a, his own program of study, which is now being carried on by the Fletcher program. And um, so we really rely on this sort of folk. Uh, passing on of the stories and and this is one that I didn't want to have lost and that sure. um, you know I wanted you to talk a little bit about well first let's talk about what floor work is so sure. let's tell everyone what floor work is yeah so in, in the formal Pilates curriculum we have mm-hmm. mat work um, mm-hmm. but in Fletcher Pilates Ron developed this idea of floor work mm-hmm. and I think it's a fusion or a marriage between his experience Mm -hmm. with mat work with Mm -hmm. joe and clara Mm -hmm. um but also then his experience as a martha graham dancer martha graham was well known for the way that she used Mm -hmm. um the floor and Mm -hmm. the contraction and things like that that Mm -hmm. you can kind of see in those performance pieces um and i think that uh the third component is that ron taught a lot of workshops um, in places where there wasn't, there weren't f- six reformers. Yeah. You know, studios filled with equipment is, is a relatively new mm. thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so mm. he would go to workshops and mm-hmm. he might have 25 people in the room mm-hmm. and there weren't 25 reformers and it would yeah. take just a little too long to maybe <laughs> do a whole day reformer work. Mm-hmm. So he began to really look at the body as mm-hmm. a whole and I think create exercises and movements that really Mm -hmm. offered some of the things that the equipment did and the mat work did, but in a more blended fashion using just the The floor floor. and your body, which is very challenging. It is. And I would say it's some of the hardest work I've ever personally Mm -hmm. had to do. Um, It's also so rewarding when it's done. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that that's what, in, in what I'm hearing you say, so those are, that's my, my perception sure. of how awesome floor work is, but what Ron really did, um, you know, first of all, Pilates was actually a collection of different things that Joe saw and experienced, and he knew it had to be formulated into something which originally was called Contrology, right. later named after him, um, but he really took this collection of things to develop this practice of work. And I think um, the the elders that we have, the, as we call them in Pilates, who studied and then took the work and evolved it, mm-hmm. it's only appropriate that Ron took his dance experience with yeah. Martha Graham and really weave, wove that in. The other element that I really like about what comes from it that I think we sometimes forget because we take for granted that we have floors and, and to your point, studios with lots of space and um, reformers and uh, Cadillacs and mm-hmm. all sorts of things available, is that it's totally accessible yes. to do almost any, pretty much everywhere. And, and for everyone. Mm-hmm. I, always, yeah. I always am challenged to uh, show people how, that aren't mm-hmm. dancers, that maybe you've never, you don't even know who Martha Graham is, that just because that came out of Ron's dance background, yeah. that really that's not the point of it. The point of it yeah. is to move the body. Yeah. And floor work is, um, it's a really exciting way to move the hips yes. to work on how you sit up mm-hmm. off the ground which i think you know we're all in chairs yeah. all the time um yes. or driving or driving yeah and if especially you're doing that you're kind of in this stuck position whereas we're looking at lifting and strengthening and coming right. back to that core um, right. and using and being comfortable with being on hard surfaces yes so mats are great. They're nice mm-hmm. and cushiony. Yes. Um, but Ron had all of us do floor work in workshops. Yeah. I, I can remember rooms of, you know, mm-hmm. big rooms of 25 people. Yeah. And we were all sitting there on the floor and learning how to hold ourselves and how to handle that harder surface, yeah. which does require that you lift so mm-hmm. that you don't need that padding, yep. you know, underneath. Um, mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I've taught floor work to dancers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've also taught floor work to people who've never had dance and and I can say that at the 
after doing that for about 20 years that most of my clients, the one thing they feel is really mm. unique in Fletcher Pilates work. is Ron's floor work and his towel work. Yeah. Um, and the thing that people feel most mm. transformed by is, floor is doing the floor work because it has such yeah. good hip work in mm. it um, mm -hmm. and makes you rotate your hips and your legs yeah. and lift up through your, your girdle of strength. Yeah. Um, and there's... You know, there's really not anything just quite like that yeah. um, in the repertoire. Mat work is done, a lot of it lying down, yep. uh, which is great, um, and it has a specific core focus yeah. to it. But floor work adds more of a three-dimensional component. You rotate, you, yeah. you rotate your hips, you bend forward, you mm -hmm. twist. Um, yeah, and there's also an element where, because it's the floor, um, and it's... You know, some of the pieces look like adaptations of the mat work, mm -hmm. but Ron really had a different intent besides the accessibility of the floor. Um, I think that our breath patterning mm -hmm. in floor work is really important. And this is maybe the place where, especially for us, you know, I think that it's really important to connect into the work with the breath. Mm -hmm. Sometimes oh, you can yes. get away without it, but you get the maximum benefit when you use that whole package that we put mm -hmm. together with that choreography. Ron put together, we practice and we teach. Um, that I think when you do that, you're really working everything. And because you're breathing so much and so specifically, mm -hmm. you really feel quite rejuvenated after it, which is why I think people find it transformative as well. Yeah, every, Ron used to say, you want every cell in your mm. body active and participating yeah. in a meaningful way. Yeah. And okay. so if you don't have the breath, you've, you're missing yeah. all that internal yeah. activity yeah. Um, that it gives and the dynamics mm -hmm. and, and... Yeah, and it goes back to our four. So if you haven't watched our video on the, the founding reasons for Studio Four, you know, it has to be about the body, the mind, the breath, and the spirit. So you got to end that session feeling like really awesome about all four of those. Yeah, you can work on. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of great stories of Ron doing different floor work pieces mm -hmm. for the celebrities um, mm -hmm. coming out of Hollywood. His book, Everybody yeah. is Beautiful, yep. has a lot of pictures of that. And that's kind yeah, of a fun, a fun piece of history. Yep. Um, and that legacy of that work is, is really important. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people really benefit from it. I do too. Well, thanks for joining us today. And Catherine, thank you for sharing your stories about floor work. Yeah, it was fun. Have a good one.